Okay, we're loading in, and everybody's ready also. Uh, welcome to the second semi-finals for the Mishmash tournament. Uh, this is going to be Team Megashock on the Radiant side versus Team Trash on the Dire side. And we have a best out of three, and the winner will be going up against Team Replica in the finals uh, for a money prize, which I don't really know exactly how much it is anymore. And I have a co-caster together with me, which is uh, Richard. Or Easter Richard, I guess. Yeah. Hi. Hi. So uh, we have a band. The first band is the Lycan. Wow. That's surprising. Oh, did they change something with the colors? Seems like they did. What? Well, now you don't even see anything red anymore on the dire side when they're not picking. And normally you did. I see at least something. Oh, ah, okay. But that might be... Uh, might be me. Oh well. We have uh, also an invoker ban, which is not really surprising either. It's just uh, a matter of, uh, well, the first pick will go to uh, to Megashock. So the ones that they're banning now will, will be the ones that they don't want to play themselves either. And, uh, well, for, uh, for Team Trash, it's just a matter of seeing uh, which ones they don't want uh, Megashock to play. Or leave so many pro heroes in that they will be able to pick two of them. As in, but with pro heroes, I do not mean the ones that normally band out. I mean, we still have Chen In and uh, Invoke, or what I mean, Dark Seer that normally gets banned out. Same for uh, Shadow Shaman, Shadow Demon, Tidehunter. But uh, they're taking their time. Broodmother, they don't want to play the Broodmother. Or they don't want to play versus the Brute Mother. Um, so far, though, still quite a few in that are normally banned first. I mean, Fro Prophet is still in also. It's, uh, it's going to be uh, deciding uh, which strategy to go for. I mean, they ban out the Brute Mother, which basically... Well, they don't want to be pushed. Okay, they don't like the Brute. Maybe they... Uh, I don't know. Don't see Brute banned out that much anymore in the... In the first uh, three bands that they have, Mega Shock is actually going into reserve time for the bands. That's uh, oh, I know what they want to pick as the first pick. The band that Enchantress, uh, that's a uh, obvious counter pick to Chen. Uh, so if uh, if a team trash doesn't ban out Chen, I'm expecting a Chen at the first pick. Uh, that will still leave. Uh, a Furion for a... Uh, oh, there we go. By Jen. Oh, that's annoying, the blinks. Yes. So yeah, that leaves a Furion still in the pool, and we still have... Uh, we still have... Uh, yeah, Shadow Shaman, and... Night Stalker, and Shadow Demon, which I already said. And Tidehunter, Venomancer. Windrunner. And there goes the Furion. Surprise! I'm actually curious if uh, Megashock wants to pick up uh, Crystal Maiden. I've seen a uh, lucky one from uh, Megashock play uh, a killer Crystal Maiden. So I'm really uh, curious if they want to do that again. I hope they will. Ten there is the Shadow Demon. And that would have a... Uh, a middle lane sorted for both teams, so I know you probably can go jungle. But, uh, oh, they should pick the Venomancer then. Mega Shock can pick the Venomancer. Actually, what do you want to say? What? Or? No, oh. you love Venomancer. I, I do, yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> they should, I think they should pick up the, the, the Shrek and Shadow Demon, uh, or Shadow Shaman, I mean, and then they have a full push try line up. Yeah. They could totally do that. Tight Hunter is still in. Yeah, true, true. Team fight ability. It's pretty strong at the moment. Yep, he gets picked a lot, picked up a lot, and also yeah. banned a lot uh, lately for that very reason. I would be surprised if he doesn't get uh, a pick or a ban in. Uh, oh, they actually go for a Vengeful as a support. 
Oh, I was expecting the crystal made down. It's a shame. But that will leave a... Uh, well, their last pick. A Tide Hunter then, yeah. And that will leave the Venomancer still available for uh, for Team Trash and actually it leaves a lot available for Team Trash that are normally picked up because they can also still go for a Shadow Shaman. Even though they already have a mid hero, so I don't think they'll do that. Uh, but they still need to support, so we might see uh, Crystal Main be being picked up by them. Uh, or actually uh, a bit of a team fight, since I'm expecting Mega Shock to ban our team fight. You can leave your microphone on, that's no problem. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just scared that everybody hears. No, yeah, every, well, I think they do hear, but it's not that annoying that it's so annoying that you, ah, you know okay. should have that off. Everybody's saying it. And... Yeah, but it, it's it's uh, it's it's no problem. Okay. I, we can talk over it. So, nice. Uh, yeah. And uh, they are going into the boat into reserve time again for uh, for last pick. Uh, they can actually pick something that they can ban out the the counters for, so that's actually very nice. I wonder if they're actually going to make use of that. Oh my god, I just said actually three times in one sentence, I think. So that's not good. But they could still go for a Venomancer, and I think they will. That's my guess. Yeah, go for a Venomancer. Yeah. To make Shiva happy. To make me happy, yeah. I, well, they're going to have a solo lane with Windrunner. They're Storm. Oh, I wasn't expecting that one. That means that they now have three solo lanes, sort of. Or three heroes that could potentially solo lane. Yeah, but I think they will play Shadow Demon on support. Yeah. Well, they kind of have to. Because yeah. otherwise, yeah, Windrunner could be played as support, but... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't know. We will see. Yeah, indeed. And uh, the bands will go out. And uh, I hope that the bands will give something away for what they're gonna pick. I mean, uh, both of the teams, yeah, you could count uh, Sh Storm Spirit as a carry, but... Oh, no! There goes the Venomancer. But I'm expecting uh, a ban to be still maybe uh, maybe a morph ban or something. Even though the first pick will go to Team Trash, so they might want to get pick up that carry. I mean, they do have the Tidehunter, which is that huge teamfight hero, and they do need some right-click damage to, uh, to accompany, that, accompany that with... And uh, hmm, what else do they want to ban out? They want. B I think Mega Shock wants to ban out some extra team fight uh, ability because they don't really have that yet. I think they might. W I think uh, Team Trash might want to go for a, a ban on on carries. Yeah, they want to ban out carries. I think if I were them, they're using a lot of reserve time though. They will be out very soon. Eosin, get the plan. I don't know. How to pronounce it? Eosin? What's Eosin. that name? Eosin? I don't know. Eosin. Eosin. Strange. Yeah, and Strange. they banned out a morph. I was right. <gasps> yeah. I wasn't expecting to be right, to be fair. But they banned out the two trash bands out to Doom. And I find that quite surprising because I don't think a Doom would be picked up. Yeah, that's pretty strange. Yeah. And it, yeah, it's, it seemed like a bit of a random ban. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I would guess the Doom ability on Storm Spirit is kind of game breaking for the Storm Spirit, because yeah, that would be kind of painful. But I, I I wouldn't ban him out because I don't think that ability alone is as powerful enough for them. Even though the Shadow Shaman uh, ban I do get because you know shackle people and then turn them into a chicken, that's just super annoying. Yeah. Especially for a storm, so those disables. I I get the storm. Sp I get the shadow shaman, but I don't get the doom ban. Yeah, shadow shaman is okay. Yeah. Especially because they got a lot of push at the moment with Furia. Yeah, it would have fit fit in great with the lineup. Yeah. So that's a good ban, but doom, I don't get it. I think um, Mega Shock might want to get a Mirana pickup, uh, but they don't really have apart from Furion. They need either, well, if Furion is going uh, middle, then they need a side solo, I think. And if Furion is going side solo, then they need a middle. And there we have a middle oh, hero in the Beastmaster. Oh, actually, yeah. yeah that's he a can go solo side too. Yeah, definitely. And he has the, the aura from, uh, from Venge that makes it 
two auras makes it extra, extra powerful aura stacking. Actually, see that quite a lot lately. So, uh, but Team Trash is still missing quite some team fight potential. I they might want to get a stun also. I mean, they do have to disable with the with the Storm Spirit and and the Shackle Shot, of course, and the disruption. Okay, they have quite disable, but. Uh, yeah, I did you need some team fight? Maybe uh Sand King. Uh yeah, yeah Sand King. That's Sand King or Shaco or something. Yeah. I should definitely pick one of those up. They oh. go for Mirana instead. That is then they have four solo possibly solo laning heroes. Great. Yeah, but they will um lane. Yeah, Mirana. definitely. They will probably lane her with uh with a three tri lane. Yeah. With uh, Shadow Demon as a support and then someone else, and they can basically pick up anybody else. And I guess Earthshaker would be doing great with that lineup. And uh, a carry still needs to be picked up for, or at least uh, right, some right, right click damage needs to be picked up for um, Mega Shock. It could be uh, maybe a Faceless Void or. Well, Never mind. Go. They're gonna go push. Yeah, they want to push it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. I guess uh, the Shadow Shaman ban uh, kind of. Didn't really work out for them because I, they would probably want that, but yeah. I just saw the ES in the chat. In the chat, I mean in the in the what's it called in the minimap. Minimap. Because I think the person that's writing all the time is not able to say Earth. stuff to them, and he actually wrote Earthshaker Echo Force. So, okay. yeah, there we have the Earthshaker. Not a very surprising pickup, uh, one we were expecting. So, then uh, we will go into the game very shortly when everybody picked up their hero. Finally, <laughs> nah, picking face is nice. And uh, for the la lane CS, well, for uh, Lashrek try lading with the Tidehunter and uh, an eventual pro probably then, uh, with Furion mid and Beastmaster top, I, g I expect. And uh, yeah, we already talked about the lineup for the Team Trash with the try lane, or Shaker Morana and Shadow Demon. Yeah. Not uh, very surprising. There we go. Uh, I will go over uh, Team Mega Shock heroes. If you will go over uh, the heroes of Team Trash afterwards, uh, like who is playing who. Yeah, yeah. Cool. cool. We see uh, Atza on the Shadow, De oh, Shadow Demon. Wow, did I just say that? I meant the Tide Hunter, and uh, he is going. Never mind. They're all going gonna go top. So yeah, never mind that. Uh, we see uh, Villa, Villa XD on the uh, on the Furion. Uh, next to him is uh, Evil's near Wim, played by uh, or played is playing the Vengeful Spirit. Seldo is playing the Lashrak, and Lucky One is playing the Beastmaster. Okay, we see Team Trash. Eo Sin <laughs> is um, playing on Shadow Demon, Kikoni the Windrunner, Mango Banana the Storm <laughs> Spirit. Shadow oh, Demon. they're gonna find each other. They're gonna be a gush on the Shadow Demon. Only one call out is the Titan to be called out by the Earthshaker Fisher. He's not gonna be able to go anywhere. Axes fly through. It's actually quite a lot of damage going through. Shadow Demon dies, but Titan didn't have anywhere to go, so he dies also. Earthshaker's trying to back out because he's very low. Uh, if the Axes just go one more. If, if there were just one more Axis, ooh, a nice Fisher again. They might be able to pick up the Storm Spirit once again. Power Shot goes through, doesn't finish him off. Sun goes off on the, on the Storm Spirit, and they actually. Gets finished off by the Lashrak stun. Mirana will die. No, she won't. She will be able to get away. Power shot goes through and kills off the Beastmaster from the uh, Windrunner. Finishes her off. Mirana will be able to uh, to get away. And it's the two versus two now. With uh, Windrunner still on the wrong. And not having any mana to uh, do anything. And ac actually level two already. Windrunner level two. That's the only one that got level two. Oh, a haste rune on the Storm Spirit. Being able to catch out the Lashrak. And they were on the run. He, he won't be able to do anything uh, to this. He will uh, probably die purely to right click damage. Stun goes off on the Earthshaker, but Storm Spirit finishes off the Lushrak. And whoa, this is a lot of action for early game. Power Shot misses on the Vengeful Spirit, uh, but Storm Spirit is getting a double kill already. Jeez. <laughs> two kills uh, for four. And that Haste Rune kind of made those last two kills, but that's a lot of action for the first 
minute. Jeez. I'm just going to check out. There's a level 2 Beastmaster, Nature's Prophet, level 2, and already th four level 2s on uh, the Dire. So that's, uh, yeah. Wow. Good start. Sorry, you can continue with it, <laughs> introducing them now. No, it was okay, because um, the guy who's, play, who's playing Shaker, it's, what the fuck is his name? T Tayeon Hart. Tion. 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 I don't know. It's the Shaker player. Yeah. He's great. Yeah. You wanna? Did you did you already go through uh, the rest then? No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I thought you missed the. Uh, so many. Eh? So many. Yeah. A lot. Uh, actually, in the middle we have uh, Storm Spirit versus Beastmaster. So Beastmaster not solo lane, so that will be uh, Fury at the bottom lane solo versus the Windrunner. And uh, ooh, not solo versus the Windrunner because Shadow Demon is seemingly assisting the Windrunner. So no try lane for Team Trash. Which will leave uh, Marana and uh, Marana and Earthshaker on the top lane. Earthshaker being very low, but he will be able to place a Fisher because he does have a lot of mana. There goes the Fisher. He gets some gold by doing so, but yeah, he should really be careful. And uh, yeah, trailing uh, on the bottom for uh, for two Mega Shock with uh, Lashrak and uh, Tide and Vengeful. Who's gonna go? Will uh, Shadow Demon and Windrunner. Yeah. I'm quite surprised they're playing dual lane, also. Yeah. Uh, that will give uh, Prophet a lot of levels early on. And will make, uh, will make Team Trash lose the, lose the level advantage that they had earlier. Oh, wow. Uh, after the first minute, the gold graph was uh, very heavily in favor of uh, Team Trash. Because, you know, they have two extra kills. But it's already dipping back, and that's got to be only last hits. Uh, Obviously, no, it's, it's it's about even now, so it's not really a difference anymore. Yeah, but uh, Leshra doesn't go for Edict. Oh, that's surprising. Don't get it, because they can so easily push those on top. Yeah. Against the two lane, so I don't know. That's like, that's yeah, not even one point. Yeah. I don't see that a lot. Oh, these guys are really strange. Yeah, we uh ah we have <laughs> someone that uh, needs to restart the router. Which is fine. In the middle we see uh, another rune being picked uh has been picked up by the storm spirit, making uh, having both runes so far. And I think uh, Shadow Demon uh is thinking about Maybe gank in the middle? I don't know. He's on his way somewhere. And he got a smoke, so maybe. Yeah. And the only wards that are up for Mega Shock on are on the top lane. Actually, oh, uh, never mind. I was gonna say there's no uh, there's no wards up for the dire, but there is one ward up on the on the bottom lane, just to make sure that Furion doesn't get any uh, unexpected help. No. Uh, Beastmaster is helping out the Furion though with uh, with this hawk here in the in the radiant forest. I was, let's see so far what the what the creep kills are in the middle, because it's a uh, storm spirit versus uh, Beastmaster. Beastmaster actually has uh, quite a bit more. Yeah. Seven more losses. That's a swap. Yeah. No, but both are level five, so I guess. Uh, Oh, yeah, Beastmaster a little bit more in advance, but not that much big a difference. Marana doesn't seem to be getting... Uh, oh, actually, she got about the same farm as uh, Lishrek. But Lishrek actually got two kills. Both kills in the, that, that were happening at the first uh, start were both Lishreks. And that's a lot, even though he died once also, but yeah. Marana got one, though. Yeah, and Prophet already got his one. Oh, that's fast, yeah. So, he will try to gank a lot. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, there's not really a lot to talk about uh, while, we're <laughs> while we're waiting either, so... Yeah. <laughs> we can just uh, wait, yeah, I mean, yeah. Gold Graph is not looking very exciting, I mean... 
it's it's uh, maybe it's 60 gold in advantage towards mega shock but that's like such a li li low difference I wonder where the the next skill is gonna be I mean uh, if shadow demon is gonna be able to uh, to help storm spirit pick off a lucky one in the middle on the beastmaster yeah that would be great for them yeah but the top lane is also uh, has potential actually where is Mar Marana is now all by herself on the top lane I mean Earthshaker is in the middle yeah, that will try to roam a lot. Oh, I just saw something saying that he uh, was very tired, and I had to yawn instantly. It's not good. What? Who's tired? Um, Eosin said, I am so sleepy. Yeah? Yeah, no. then I had to yawn. Yeah, Earthshaker actually also has a smoke, so there's two smokes up on... Uh, on Team Trash. Oh, there is actually a smoke up on the Tidehunter also. We're just gonna wait and see what's going on. Oh, there we go, he's reconnected to the game. Ah, nice. This team today. Yeah. And there we have resumed the game. So we can finally see what Shadow Demon was up to. Wow. That's an anti climax, he wasn't up to anything. Earthshaker, however, might be. <laughs> Never mind. There's gonna be uh, a rune in five seconds, so I guess Beastmaster wants to see if it's uh, it's gonna be on the top lane. Hello, Earthshaker. Oh, that's gonna be a bad one for the Beastmaster, but there is Tidehunter also to support, maybe do a gush to slow them off, and Beastmaster will be able to get away. He uses his, uh, yeah, his bottle instantly to be able to do something. There, ports teleport, teleports in from the Furion, and the Earthshaker has to run, but I don't think he'll be able to. There's a disruption, and he will just die when he comes out. There we go. Vengeful Spirit getting a kill on that one. And that was, uh, very good support from, uh, or, yeah, support coming in from, uh, from Team Mega Shock. With the fury and teleporting instantly when he knew that something was gonna going on. Good map awareness. Yeah, that was really great TP by Fulian. Yeah, and he can just go back and uh, continue farming, like he didn't lose a thing. And versus the Windrunner, 13 versus 21, he didn't lose a thing at all. He is uh, winning that lane with the last hits also. That's two extra kills for Mega Shocker. They're now even on kills. I Bet though that gold graph won't look even. Nah, it's uh, 500 gold. It's not a lot, but early game, five minutes in, maybe considered a lot. Oh, there we have level one edict. Yeah, <laughs> I saw it too. Yeah. Took some time. I try to push now, so. Yeah. Oh. Smoke is up on Earthshaker and on Shadow Demon, and they want to go for something. I think they want to go for the Beastmaster, but never mind. They changed their mind. By the beast. Okay. There's uh, a gank upon a gank. I mean, uh, Vengeful Spirit and Tidehunter are gonna try to gank the Storm Spirit, but in the meantime, there is Shadow Demon and Earthshaker ganking the Vengeful Spirit, who is gonna have a hard time. But she stunned the Earthshaker, so she will be able to run away. The Fisher goes there, so she has to run very fast if she wants to be able to get away from that. And uh, yeah, they finish off the Shadow Demon with Fury and again teleporting in to assist on the action. And we hear Storm Spirit also uh, doing something. Prophet finished off the Earthshaker, but in the meantime, Storm Spirit was able to finish off the Beastmaster. I think if uh, Beastmaster just stayed, would have stayed back, they would have still gotten those two kills and not lost uh, Beastmaster's life. Yeah. But nice escape from the Vengeful Spirit. Yeah, Fuyan helped her a lot with the TP and the sprawl. Yeah. And he's already back on the middle lane, uh, bottom lane. And Wind Windrunner is just not, uh, yeah. She she has to farm a bit more. Ooh. They have a ward, uh, as in Team Trash has a ward here. 
So they should have would have seen Beastmaster coming in, or at least Windrunner should have seen her coming in. And there is a shout up, and here goes the shout. There is a shout. Axis will fly through too soon. And uh, I don't think she'll be able to get away from this. There we go. Beastmaster gets the last hit. And uh, Fisher that comes in too late for support. And that's actually quite surprising that they didn't see the teleport in. Because that's the reason why this ward is there. To be able to know when a gank is incoming. Hmm. Right? This went runner. Yeah, I, th I think she got a bit, uh, bit lazy there. Yeah. <laughs> Not really on her toes. Marana is happily farming in the meantime. Seems like uh, 26 last hits and uh, she's doing quite even with the Lishrak, I guess. Ooh. Blink going off on the Shadow Demon. Gush will go off. Sun will go off shortly. Edict is on. He is taking a lot of damage. Lishrak finishing him off with this Edict. And uh, actually Marana taking a lot of damage from the Edict too. It's still level, it's level 2 Edict now, but yeah, she, they won't be able to do anything anymore. And uh, the Shrek will have to back off because the tower is hitting him a lot. But he does have a salve. And there is the Gush again, and there is Furion once again, and he will just right click her down. And uh, Marana goes down and uh, kill for, Fur uh, for Furion. Oh, I should say Nature's Prophet. Yeah, Prophet is doing great at the moment. Yeah, that's. Uh, he's everywhere, basically. Yeah. He does. Leveled. He did level his teleportation first, so that will help him a lot. Where's that? But, uh, yeah, Urshaker coming out to uh, to help on uh, Storm Spirit a little bit, but the the eagle is there, invisible. But they know they saw him fly there, so they know it's there, and they know uh, that they know that Mega Shock knows that Urshaker is there. We see a lot of. Uh, <laughs> it seems like Mango Banana doesn't have the ability to uh, to talk to his team at the moment. Ooh. They smoked up, but they should have seen that because the bird was there. I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, it doesn't seem so. Oh. Ah, uh, they got uh, caught out already. Or at least uh, Urshaker didn't, but uh, Storm Spirit did. And I think uh, this Windrunner is going to be in trouble. I mean, Tidehunter is uh, is moving to the back. And there she goes. Th and instant teleport. And they won't be able to do anything apart from right-clicking her down. And they do Earthshaker. Or Earthshaker. Wow, Tidehunter getting the last hit. It was, a, it was a good teleport, though. There was nothing else that she could do but teleport. And she failed with that, but... Yeah. Oh, she would have been dead otherwise, anyway. So at least it was a good try. And, uh, yeah, we see Mega Shock is really determining the play at the moment. They they determine where the action is, and all uh, Team Trash at the moment can do is defend. And this uh, Shadow Demon uh, is not going to be able to defend. He's going to be disrupting himself, so that will help a little bit. But oh. there will be a last hit for Furion on him. Uh, and Storm Spirit is here, though. This Tide Hunter is not going to be alive very much longer. There he goes. Storm Spirit getting a kill. Fisher goes off on the, to try to get the Storm to get the Nature's Prophet. He gets shackled to a tree while trying to teleport out, but they can't reach him. There they can reach him, but no mana enough to uh, to do the vortex anymore. And uh, yeah, he will, he was able to teleport out. <laughs> But that Fisher, that Fisher partly made it made uh, f it able for Furion to get away from that gank up. They didn't get a tower. Yeah, Saker had them. But I think Storm should have got him. Yeah. Normally. No, he, he didn't have uh, have mana yeah. for uh, for the vortex, so. Yeah, but he had bottle, so. An empty he bottle though. Used it. Should have used it. Was he, did he still have charges in his bottle then, at yeah. that time? Oh, we didn't notice. And uh, yeah, the Shrek uh, pushing with that Edict is now level 3. And he will do a lot of damage to that tower. And there is a glyph up, but they're not using it. Not planning to. There goes the Ravage, and they instantly finish off the Shadow Demon. Or do they? Yes, they do. Tidehunter getting the last hit. 
And that will uh, slow down, uh, or slow down, that will scare Megashock off enough to... Uh, sorry, that will scare Team Trash enough off to let Megashock take the tower. And that was the last tier 2 tower for uh, tier 3 tower for Team Trash. Yeah, they got a big goat advantage. Anywhere. Yeah, spiking really much over 7.5k now. And uh, there's uh, there's just not, not a lot that... Uh, the team trash can do now, even though they might be able to get finished off the courier. Nah, they won't try. Arrowfly is, uh, is <laughs> they just probably is a bit in trouble, but he has a shadow blade now, so we'll be able to get out. Which is a uh, nice item, didn't? Yeah. We'll have to counter shadow that first. Blade. Yep. That's nah. I don't like it. Well, it works to get away if uh, if the other yeah. team doesn't uh, doesn't buy dust or notice it too slow too slow, he will be able to just push and then get away safely. There's gonna be an urn on Tide Hunter also, which I find a bit odd so that, that they have two urns. Shout goes off on the wind runner, access will fly. Prophet is there too, vortexing the Lashrak. But uh, I don't think they have enough damage to to, uh, to do this. There is Prophet finishing off Shadow Demon, but yeah, he's uh, he's in the meantime he's attacking from behind, so he's able to do that. But they they just didn't focus enough. I mean, everybody's down for a little bit, but not for a lot. And this tower will just die also. They went in, didn't have the full team, and then just boom. And then they back off. They'll take the rest of this tower another day. And I think uh, Storm Spirit wants to go for uh nice rune pickup. Like he knew it was gonna be on the bottom lane. <laughs> but uh, for the items on uh, on Team Trash, let's see what they got. There's not really a lot so far. Headdress for uh, Windrunner is probably going for Mech. And I think uh, Storm Spirit is building a BKB, but he is still quite a bit away from that, and needs to be able to get some more farm to be able to get it. Oh my God! There is a uh, was a smoke, and there's the Earthshaker. He's just gonna go down, and the shout was up and uh, used for that. Bit overkill, I think. He would have died anyway, being so far out. It was just with the sp stun from uh, Vengeful, he would have probably died also. And while the rest is pushing uh, middle, Mega Shock uh, team. Mega Shock is uh, it's, it's gonna push middle. Seems like they're keeping middle busy at least. Uh, the Shrek was much pushing top, and so uh, Team Trash has to uh, give up one of their players to defend. And another pause. Over 10k gold advantage for Mega Shock. With a solid line going up, yeah, and it will be hard. Yeah, and that's that's not that's not even last hits. It is last hits. I mean, Furion has a lot of last hits, but yeah, that's Furion for you. Um, it's also last hits, but it's also the towers that make such a difference, and they're so able to push so hard with the uh, with the Furion and the Lashrak. My gratitude. And they need to do that because yeah. um, if they go late game, they will lose it. I'm not sure about that to be fair. I mean they do have a Furion which is pretty awesome late game. And yeah. if they just get a sheep stick or something, Storm Spirit won't be so much of a threat. Uh um, Marana might still be a threat though. But I, I don't Mirana think uh Storm is pretty strong, so I don't know. I think they will lose late game if they go for it, but Yeah, they they might. We'll see if the if uh if Team Treasure is able to make it late game though. Yeah. It's a whole different question again. Just uh, words up for both teams. Ooh. Just a rising fisher. I mean, they're not going to be able to defend this tower. 
If they want to make it late game, ooh, this Shadow Demon is going to be in trouble, and yeah, he just flies. Beastmaster getting the last hit. Every stun that they have. I think the Leshrex stun was even too late for that. Illusion was picked up by the Storm Spirit, and they actually find the real one who is able to ball lightning away. But where is he going? Ah, oh, he's going to be going. What? That's, that looked weird. Yeah. <laughs> the teleporting on one side, and he, him actually being on a different side. But that's actually on, uh, on purpose, to be fair. And, uh, yeah, the last tier 2 tower has uh, not got so much longer to live. And it's not getting contested either, I mean, it's just gonna go down. The only trouble might be uh, for them to push in, I mean, they do have a storm spirit, a shadow spirit demon. Wow. But we'll be able to uh, rest with the shadow poison. A lot. If, never mind. He only has level one shadow poison, which is not something that I. I think shadow poison is so strong. But yeah, there's not a lot they can do. The here comes the storm spirit with the vortex. Shout goes up on the storm spirit though. The ravage goes off, and actually catches also at the uh, the shadow demon who gets killed off by the beastmaster's axes. And then uh, Marana's ulti uh, saves the rest, but there's just nothing that. Team Trash can do here to to actually counter them. This game Look, it's so over. Yeah, the damage <laughs> they can't do anything. The damage it. coming out from uh, from Mega Shock is immense. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Oh, this wrong button. The experience graph is a solid line up also, but is the level difference that big? It's just uh, mo the most of the damage is ability damage, so. If they would have had one pipe, it would have made a difference already. Nature's Prophet killing off the Shadow Demon. Vortex going off on the Nature's Prophet uh, after he killed him off, though. But he will be able to just get away. Pa oh, never mind, he won't be able to get away. Storm Spirit gets the kill after the power shot helped a lot from uh, from Kikoni. And uh, this Beastmaster is... Uh, yeah, he will be able to get away unless... There will be uh, a ball lightning again in the Lux Vortex. Nice shackle shot on the Vengeful Spirit, and the Vortex is indeed going off on the Beastmaster, who still ca tries to kill off the Beastmaster and actually gets the kill. And Vengeful Spirit has to run away. No. Nice stun, killing off the Marana, and he, she's gonna die to the Edict. Uh, no, six charges will. F Never mind. Tidehunter was there to save the day. A teleport for uh, Storm Spirit will save his life. But that was actually uh, a bit of an overextension for Mega Shock there. Is he gonna swap? Is he gonna swap? No swap available. But uh, yeah, Shadow Demon going down. I was saying uh, there was a bit of an overextension for Mega Shock, but afterwards uh, Team Trash overextended just as hard, uh, just as much. And there is the GG called. And uh, there's gonna be a new game because it's best out of three. So we'll see who will win the third, the second game to be able to see who goes uh, on to the finals. Storm Spirit is still on the run. Brave little soldier. <laughs> and uh, only... No, Earthshaker and Storm Spirit are only in the game. Storm Spirit disconnected now too. So everybody's dis disconnected. So we'll see uh, this one explode pretty soon. 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 No, um... Yeah. And now everybody disconnects. Go. But uh Explode. There we go. Yes. Yes. Fuck. And there we have to wait for the last screen items. There we go.